Good evening and thank you for joining us. Our top story, the Department of the Army held two listening sessions, one in Anchorage and the other in Fairbanks, to get the opinion of the public about possible soldier reductions at Joint Base Elmendorf Richardson and Fort Wainwright. In both events, the consensus became clear. Community members want nothing to do with losing over 11,000 soldiers and the families they bring with them. Ryan Grimes went to the Fairbanks session and has the story. And willingness of Alaskans to support the military's training needs cannot be duplicated anywhere in the United States and possibly in the world. With the possibility of losing over 5,000 soldiers in Anchorage and just under 6,000 soldiers in Fort Wainwright, community members recommended the Department of the Army to take a no-action alternative inside Alaska. We believe that uh, this, uh, our air bridge in the northern Pacific is best in the world, bar none. But you also have to have people on the ground, and that's our Army. The United States is under orders to continue reducing its active duty soldiers from 550,000 to 450,000 by fiscal year 2017. If the sequestration cuts continue, another 30,000 soldiers will be phased out. Governor Bill Walker implored the Department of the Army to rethink any military cuts in Alaska, citing the state's strategic location compared to the rest of the nation. You have to look at Alaska from the top down. Don't look at a, at a surface map, look at a, at a globe, and you see how we relate to the rest of the world. And Cold Climate Housing Research Center CEO Jack Hebert said leaving military installations with so few personnel would be disastrous. In Alaska, we coined the phrase warm basing for discussions such as these. Removing 5,811 Army soldiers and Army civilians and their families and expecting the infrastructure at the installation to remain intact for future activity is just not a realistic plan. Fairbanks resident Carolyn Wallace asked officials to put into account how Alaska citizens take care of military members like they are family. She said, well, Ms. Wallace, our families are all, our soldiers are coming back in the summer, and you know what happens to hotel rooms and bed and breakfast prices in Alaska in the summer. The young lady, her fiancé, and the mother-in-law-to-be came to my, our home in the fall when they got back. Only problem was my husband and I were out of state for the military thing, but we gave her the house, the key, and the key to the car and said, enjoy your time in Alaska. This is Ron Grimes reporting.